I'm Dr. Jessica Berge, a board certified dermatologist, and today we're gonna to talk about wound care instructions. So a few weeks ago, I made a post about just simple wound care instructions that would take care of like 99% of just small cuts and scrapes. I had no idea that was gonna be one of my most controversial posts so far, so I wanted to clarify a few things. The first thing that I said was, if you get a cut or scrape, you wanna wash the wound with just a gentle soap and water and avoid hydrogen peroxide. Now, you don't always have to avoid hydrogen peroxide. It's great if you have a dirty wound or we also use it in dermatology if somebody has like a thick scab and we wanna try to dissolve that scab, you can do a peroxide soap to help to do that so that the new skin can form underneath there. Where people run into problems is when they're using peroxide like on a daily basis and they're constantly putting on a wound. What they don't realize is that that can kill healthy tissue and it's going to take a lot longer for that wound to finally heal. The other thing I talked about was putting petroleum jelly on the wound and I'm going to do a whole post probably about petroleum jelly and common misconceptions but what I said was you may wanna avoid Neosporin because actually up to 15% of the population is allergic to Neosporin. So sometimes we see patients that come into the office and they've been using Neosporin on the wound and we can't tell if the wound is actually infected or they're just having an allergic reaction to the neomycin in the antibiotic ointment that we're using. So we just recommend Vaseline because there's a very low rate of getting allergic reaction to something like that. The last thing I talked about was keeping the wound covered with a Band-Aid. So some people said, well, my wounds heal faster when they're exposed to the air. And we're not only talking about speed with wound healing, we we're talking about optimal wound healing. So it's not just how fast something heals, but we wanted to heal with the best possible scar possible whenever we can. So we think that keeping a wound covered and moist actually lets those skin cells kind of migrate over the wound more quickly and help give a better cosmetic outcome. So hopefully this clears up a few of those misconceptions. Leave your questions in the comments below.